Hello, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you shortly Francesca Borgo. She is from Northern Italy in Trevisco and I'm delighted to have her here today to talk to you briefly or today about some of her latest collections as well as some of her old pieces that we have. Uh, we've been lucky enough to be working with Francesca for a little over a year now and uh, congratulations, she has just exhibited some work at the Summer Royal Academy uh, this summer, so um, in a little bit we will hear from her. Um, Francesca Borgo, it's so lovely to meet you in person. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, um, you. No, it's our absolute pleasure. Um, as you can see behind us, there are some of her uh, latest collections, and we'll ask her in a little bit more detail about how they're produced. But I guess my first question to you and from our audience is um, you had quite a journey into becoming an artist. Um, for those of you that don't know, you sort of, um, sort of as a passion project at first, and then through illness you had to sort of uh, stop doing your day job as much, and then this kind of became full time. That's quite a journey you're on. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, sure, sure. Well, it started as a pure passion when I was young, very young actually. I was in high school and just. Uh, uh, drawing uh, portraits every single day on my desk and the lady cleaned every day each single portrait so we had this long story me and her and uh, basically I always enjoyed it and it gave me such a good pleasure mm -hmm. uh, you know to have uh, pencils in my hands or colors sometimes uh, but I Basically, I, I didn't realize this was something I needed uh, every day. I've been very curious of many things in my life and so I did other stuff before. Uh, I worked in science for a long time and then I moved to other things. Uh, but as I said before, there's been a moment in my life um, in which I had to stay at home. Uh, because I was, uh, I, I was, yeah, I couldn't move, and this is this was going to get me crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that point, I uh, we we were living out abroad, and we were not in Italy. And I had with me one of these paintings that I was bringing with me, <laughs> and it wasn't finished. And so I just started because I couldn't do anything else. And uh, and then I had this great pleasure in having my hands, you know, full of colors, dirty basically, and I made a mess everywhere. And, uh, and then started to become sort of a date. Uh, it became what I was doing, uh, I was trying to do uh, during the weekends, and then, you know, sometimes at night, and then during holidays, and I started to take holidays <laughs> to do that. <laughs> And then I realized that maybe I should have taken it more seriously, you know, mm -hmm. this, this whole thing. And um, that's when I realized I wanted to, to do more, to have paintings more, you know, as part of my life. And so I, I did this crazy thing, basically, of, uh, you know, quitting my job for, for a while. Then I, I, uh, I managed <laughs> to, to pay my, you know, my bills anyway, but uh, I, I started much more seriously mm -hmm. at that point. And uh, somehow now it, it's, almost a, it's almost a physical need. It's not just, a, it's something that I want in my life, but, and it's something that I like, like to share, mm -hmm. and it's physical as well. So sometimes when I don't do it for a few days, I start, feeling restless because I have to go back to the, to the canvas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it always sounds spiritual, your um, process, you know, you, have, when you, you were saying before when you sort of got into it more seriously, when you uh, had a period when you couldn't move, unfortunately, when you were ill a while ago, a few years back. Um, that sort of outlet, I guess, like you said, you were going crazy and for something to sort of pour the contents of your mind into into your work. I mean, when I look at it, they're so atmospheric and they take me on a journey and I'm sure they do for the viewer as well. They're, they, they really take you to another sort of dimension and um, a space really. So I'm, I'm <laughs> so sure what you're saying. No, I, I, I really do. I feel they're so atmospheric and um, 
you know, I, I, I sort of feel an escapism when I look at your work, so I'm sure as the creator, it must be a real sort of pleasure and escape for you as well, perhaps from everyday I, life. I think it is. Uh, I don't know if it is an escape, if it is a way to try and find something that I like, I mm. really like. It's just an example, but uh, sometimes when I feel confused or very anxious or not nice, you know, mm -hmm. things, I tend to go outside, uh, outdoor, and uh, maybe just to look at the horizon, stay there, just feeling, you know, the wind, feeling the grass that moves, this kind of very, very little things about nature, the mm -hmm. presence of nature. And this helps me a lot. Usually I find balance again. Somehow painting has this same kind of uh, feeling for me. So it's a way to find uh, my, my balance again uh, while uh, working well with the sun at the beginning and then with color, very watered color. Uh, and then with a thicker color till I go to the end. <laughs> so yes, it's sort of a journey uh, every time uh, in which I start in a very, very messy stuff uh, with the sand and all the, you know, the dirty uh, things. And then I finish with something that I think is calmer and it's where I would like to be or how I would like to feel. Amazing.